track real quick. Uh, Eddie Hearn calling Regis and Jack Catterall a mega fight. I fuck with Jack Catterall. Gave me an interview. Uh, spoke with us in Vegas some years ago. Interview on the channel. Just put his name and my channel name in. And um, gave us some great on the camera and off the camera. So he a really nice guy. So this ain't about him. He deserves a world title shot. You know what I'm saying? Um, for real, for real. But that weak ass nigga Regis. I ain't trying to hear that shit, dude. Then he got his ass whooped by Devin and start uh, raccooning and boot buffooning and start to stab da tap dancing like Sammy Davis Ninja Jr. So I don't really got no respect for him. I just said that. So. Um, Nigga got his ass beaten, and then he wanted to talk about, I'm going to do MMA, Wody. I'm, you heard me? I'm going to do MMA. I don't, respect, I don't respect none of these dudes that's raccooning and buffooning against that. Then he puts this false narrative about that, oh, he's he'll rehydrating illegally, but not nobody ever said nothing about Canelo doing it. You know, when Errol Spence was doing it, you know, nobody said nothing. You know, Errol Spence had the IBF. Well, when you when you unify the IBF, they changed the rule for Canelo. Anytime it's a unification bout, that 10 pound rehydration is dead. See, y'all be talking about stuff that y'all don't even know about. Thanks, Canelo. Y'all be speaking on stuff and then don't be having the full information. They don't even try to get the full information, but that ain't no mega fight. August 24th in Manchester, uh, they got Jack Catterall hustling backwards. Jack Catterall deserve a title shot versus somebody. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know, Regis Progress, another dude who's scared to move up to welterweight cause, cause he can't hack it. He'll tell that story a thousand times about how he had a close fight with Errol Spence. He, he another guy that was 152 pounder in the amateurs and squalls down to 140 cause he couldn't hack it. He couldn't hack it. Let's call it what it is, you know? Don't want to move up and wait. Want to, who wants to make a career at 140? Like, come on now. So, as far as who's going to win this fight, I don't know. I go with Jack Catterall. My fandom's with Jack Catterall. I don't fuck with Regis. Anybody that's okay with Devin getting cheated? No, let me rephrase that. Any, anybody that's okay with kids, you know, especially when they buffooning and raccoon and versus brother, I'm good on them. Like I said, I don't care if the clan stump you out in the street. I'm a helper. You know what I'm saying? I'm a helper. Well, I'm going to keep, he keep on passing me. I'm going to pass by and throw the deuces up at your ass. You know? And that's just the way I feel about it, bro. Like, a lot of these dudes, they ain't solid. They ain't real. They can't, they can't separate their emotions from facts and all that. I, I, had a lot of, I don't have a lot of respect for people at all, man. But shout out to Tim Bradley for staying on code. Shout out to Town Business for staying on code. And I don't even, I, I really don't have a problem with this particular person. I had a problem who he's affiliated with, but shout out to 7-8 for staying on code. I could put a difference inside and say shout out to that brother for staying on code. Anybody else that's staying on, any other brother that's staying on code. Like I said, I understand the Mexicans, go ahead and do that. Y'all wouldn't claim Ryan Garcia until you won. That's cool. I understand y'all buffooning and y'all buffooning against pets. I, I understand it. Cause the majority of y'all fighters own some shit anyway, and we just gotta keep it a bean. You know, the majority of y'all fighters own shit. Five people that was Renoso was popped for shit. The whole Mexican Olympic national team was popped for shit, didn't they? You know, we just keeping it real. This this routine shit is always an excuse. So, we, we ain't really tripping on it. But, as I said before, man, I ain't got no respect for Regis' ass after that. None whatsoever. Any other brother popping that shit? I don't want to hear y'all talking about, oh, we, oh, I love black women. Oh, I love my black brother. Nope, don't say that. Use a lying motherfucker. Don't you be all on Dr. Umar Live, neither. Don't talk about I love Kevin Sam. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. But, to be real... You know, Jack Catterall box Regis, uses footwork, stay behind his jab. You know, Regis, Regis can't box. But if he can't take Regis' power, then it'll get interesting. But if he uses jab against Regis and just throw it, double it, and triple his jab and work off his jab, you know, Regis can't get past, get past that jab. 
All you got to jab and just step out the way. When he punch, he load up for you punch and it's an opening. So once you, sometimes once you step with that jab like a power shot, you will break up his whole combinations. He, he, he kind of got a weird style where when he about to throw a punch, it's kind of like a twitch or like it's, he, he creates an opening when he throws a punch. He kind of likes, you know, loads up and he got an opening. And that's what, De that's what Devin seen. You know, Josh Taylor just ran through his ass like diarrhea. No, that wasn't no close fight. Yo ass lost one in my Lauren Hill voice. You know, people saying, we were just fight. No, it wasn't. That shit was not remotely close. He got that ass beat. And the, and the ninja had one eye. That was normal. All you gotta do is box his ass. If you could take his power boxing. And real talk, I stepped to his ass. Once you throw, so you can establish that jab and that shit he can do after that. Step to him. He probably can stop reaches, to be real. Makes in a little body work in there. He probably can stop him. All you gotta do is step, step in with your punches. Step in with that jab. Sometimes throw it hard. And come behind with the one, two, three. Bow. Put him right on his ass. That nigga's done. He done it the way. He stands somewhere too long. He shouldn't belong. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's his problem. He's scared to move up and wait. You got, a, you got a guy like him that's standing in a way that he shouldn't be at, man, bro. Set the pace. Touch the body. That's how you do it. You set the pace, you touch the body. Simple as that. Set the pace, touch the body. Keep tripling and doubling that jab. You know, uh, mix in uppercuts. Uh, it, it, ain't, it ain't hard. He ain't shit. He ain't shit at all. Work off that jab. Step out the way. He can't do nothing. I tell you. So, but then again, he can punch. So he can punch. So you allow you you allow him to be on the front foot and get off on you. And that'd be the problem when these dudes fight punchers. They psyched out. So they start like Frank Martin. He started giving up. Uh, he started giving up ground. He never tried to establish his dominance in the fight. You know, when you fight a puncher, you got to get the respect. And if you don't punch, hit him with something or you don't show that you're willing to push him back, it's a wrap. You know, it's a wrap. You got to you got to get respect from the from the from the puncher, from the aggressor. And once you don't once you don't show that respect, it's over with, bro. They going to just walk you down and you have to stop. You have to establish that respect off rip, you know. You have to establish that respect off rip. Don't forget that. You have to establish that respect off rip. And if you don't establish that respect off rip, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's over with. It's over with. You have to establish that respect off rip. Because if you don't establish that in the beginning, it's hard to keep them off your ass. Especially when you don't hide your punches, you don't throw set up punches, you know what I'm saying? You ain't a counter puncher. When you a counter puncher, you always got a chance to knock somebody out. Because the punch, the punch that they don't see coming, the punch that they don't see coming, that's the punch they get them. Even if you can't punch, per se. Once you can counter punch and hide your punches, and you know, and if you can do that and if you can punch, that's what makes Tank so good. Tank can count, Tank can see it, Tank can throw with you, Tank can counter you. You know, that's how you do it. And just like Devin Haney dropped Regis, he hit that punch behind the jab. I mean, you go to Foreman and Moore. You know, Moore was winning the Foreman hit, hit a two behind the one. And what's so funny, not too long before that, he just missed that two. <laughs> he just missed that two. And unfortunately, I, uh, somebody sent me something about Michael Moore being broke. Unfortunately, I mean, it's a system that designed to keep boxers broke, just like in Hollywood. Two, three managers that don't do nothing. You know, if you got a manager that ain't bringing no money in, you know, that's a liability. Like I always tell y'all about women. If you got a woman that's not bringing nothing in, she's a liability, bro. You know, once you marry a woman, she got to have something. And motherly instincts and a house and a car, you know, and a job, you know, that's essential. She got some real estate, you know what I'm saying? She can help you research and start a business. You know what I'm saying? She a hustler, some shit. So once you got people on your team that don't bring shit, bring shit to the table, it's over with. It's a, it becomes a liability, you know. Even, even if you're wealthy, you know what I'm saying. You dealing with women that don't 
or people that don't bring that's a liability why drain your resources? even if you got them to burn why even get in the habit of draining your resources you know so you need people that's going to bring things to the table and that's not just for women you got a manager have them bring something to the table but i gotta dip man got the rendezvous today but hey thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel i try to put this up on sunday hit the link tree uh check the x the X, I mean, the link tree link. I'm on X, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Kick, Twitch. Check out the Patreon. Peace.